Hi guys, welcome to set 5, let's play Fallout 4. Now as you can see, my uh, my settlement's changed quite a bit. This is because uh, Termino, while cool, it really wasn't that good of a uh, settlement in the long run. So instead, I decided I would base a house based off of the Hearthfire DLC from Skyrim, which is what we have here. It has the, the main hall area with the side room, which is my crafting room, the other side room, which is my living area, my main hall, which has my power generator, and my uh, stuff here. Then upstairs we have my showroom for my power armors, I only have three so far, my uh, trophies, which are the bobbleheads, which I've collected most of which most of them off screen. Um, like I said earlier in a previous set, I will actually be doing those as a part of a guide, so I'm not going to show you where there are in here. Um, I got my magazines, the monster trophies, and out here I have a little bar area for whenever I want to just, you know, relax and enjoy everything. Um, then out here, we have my uh, X01, which I got off screen, which again I'll show you a video of where to find it. Uh, dog's house, my shopping area. My, uh, crops. FYI, if you want the best possible, uh, crops, use mut uh, Mutafruit. It's better. As a cow. Um, I just chose to use corn and, um, uh, carrots, just because. And there's watermelons over there as well. Uh, my defenses. Well, two of which. I have a ca I, uh, brought him in, uh, fear down there. The houses for my settlers, which I'm currently in the process of giving them electricity. As well as uh, basic amenity amenities like uh, couches and TVs and shit like that. But so far, each one has two beds and lights. That's pretty much it. Um, I will also be building some uh, turrets as well to give some extra protection. Currently, I only have a few. Uh, four down there and two at the back. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty much all I did off screen, really. Yeah, I like how it turned out. It looks pretty cool. Um, it's off the ground, so any rad scorpions that somehow make it make their way to the island won't be able to get to anyone. Okay. So this set, we're going to focus on a few things. Uh, specifically getting a few more um, bobbleheads that I want to show you where they're at, just because of the cool event that happens with them. Um, and this. The uh, Yongzi. It is a uh, pretty interesting little place and very easy to miss. Oh yeah, I also upgraded my uh, weaponry. Um, I currently have a plasma pistol. Uh, I still have the silver submachine gun and the uh, rifle. The overseer's uh, rifle one. Although I have renamed all the weapons. Um, I upgraded the... Uh, shish kebab we got from the Saugus Ironworks. And I gave uh, Kate here a new armor set, which I got from... Well, it's the same armor, just different under armor. Which I got from a uh, series of side quests that led to... Here. I hear. Here. There was a um, Brotherhood of uh, Steel person there who attacked me when I, um, he, he didn't trust me, so he attacked me, and she's wearing his uh, Under Armour for it. Anywho, this is a pretty interesting little thing. I'm going to show you on the map where it's at specifically, so you can get to it. Out in the water. Just look for this uh, thing here, even though it goes down in a little bit. Ah, it's a sub. And then just go inside. Make sure you bring a hazmat suit with you. It'll make this set, this portion, very easy. All right, let's go back here. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Here, Abel, but not a 
threat? No. Come in, Hopium. Um, uh, peace? I thought this submarine was abandoned. Empty. No, not empty. I am here. Captain Zhang. This is my Chenqian. My submarine. The Yangzi. Why are you here? War is over. Long over. And my Yangzi holds no Bao. No treasure. Nothing for you to plunder. Have you been here for 200 years? Ah, it has been that long. Shida, yes. I suppose it has. Long ago. Just after the fire. Yangzi struck a mine. My Chenqing barely made it here into harbor. City already in ruins by then. Few noticed us. Fewer cared. Too much Tongku. Your arrival is good Xingyun for me. I need help, you see. Yangzi is not uh, seaworthy. You will help me fix her? Why would you trust me? A stranger. Trust is risk. But a man must plow with oxen he has. You are not like raiders that board my Chenqing, my Yangzi. You show peace. Xie Xie. What will you do with the submarine once it's fixed? I sail for Zhongguo, return to China, where I belong. My Jia, my home. What will you do there? Anything Zhao can do. If China is gone, I will build, house by house. And if no houses can be built, I will die. My Jia, at peace. I'm at your disposal. Ha! <laughs> yes! Thank you! Yes, yes, my friend. But first problem, Yangzi has no power. If we get reactor working, probably enough. There is damage to a... Uh, a dampening coil. Bad damage. Need a new coil. I have information. Intelligence uh, from wartime. Dampening coils are at a facility called uh, Saugat's Iron Works. I already have the dampening coil from Saugus. <sighs> Fortune favors us both, it seems. Now all we need is one thing. Nuclear fuel. Where are you gonna get that? <sighs> now that is the right question to ask. Two hundred years ago, I launched all of Yangzi's high-yield nuclear missiles as ordered. For two hundred years, I have lived with that guilt. That shame. So much fire. Such bay. But one missile failed to launch. You must go down. Remove the warhead. Then bring it to me. I'm on it. I admire your spirit. Oh, you are getting warhead. I will prepare the reactor. But now I must warned you there is danger we shan old crew still down there not okay like their captain worse they do not harm me but they will kill you i i cannot kill them still they are my crew my family jaren all of us but you must do what you must do. Alrighty then. Now, the problem with this place is... It's radiated to hell. That's why you want your hazmat. 
Right, let's go. Still locked? Yeah, he's still locked. Okay. Okay. See if we can sneak around for a while. It's a good thing I'm a good hacker. Whoop. Oh, okay. Uh, five likenesses. Okay. Two. Right, let's start getting some, uh, Duds removed. <clears throat> this is how I look for them too, by the way. Just sort of sweep through them all. I've actually gotten it down to uh, two options once. Thanks to those uh, dud removals. Alright, let's leave those guys alone. Right away. Nice. Let's go ahead and loot the place. This place is just filled with ghoul ghouls, by the way, so I'm gonna try my best to ignore most of them. Let's see if we can... Eh? Ah, fuck. Fuck! Get Ben first mate! Fuck. Reload! Oh, fuck. Where are the others? Thank you. You take care of them for me, hon? Good. Let's go ahead and get this warhead. Thank you. Shoot you! Okay. Oh god! <laughs> I hate these things! Nope! <laughs> Holy crap, I hate when they run at you like that. Let's go put that like that. Oh. Scared the fuck out of me. I've been mostly spending time uh, off screen working on shit, not actually um, doing any fighting, so. Sweet. Oh, okay. That was pathetic. Yes. All right, wonderful. Let's go. No. Yeah, let's go help out uh, the, our lovely lady, lady. Where'd you run off to, anyhow? <clears throat> oh. Press that circle one too many times. I know, I know. Plasma guns are beasts, I have to say. <clears throat> nope. 
Excuse me, hun. So that uh, ghoul's on the other side, probably. I can't expect to find like a reactor here, a fusion reactor, where I can get the um, a fusion core. And now. That. Mm. Some quick health there, because my health's actually pretty high, apparently. Alright, is there anything else worth scavenging? Mm. What the hell? Sorry, mate, you got stuck in the wall. Happens to the best of us. Alright. So we found the cruise quarters. <clears throat> Medical deck. <clears throat> because. Okay. Somewhat. Nope. There we go. <clears throat> God, I love hacking. Give me all the stuff. Oh, you beautiful bitch. Right. God damn it, you scared the hell out of me. Kitchen? No, laundry. Yeah, I guess you'd have a laundry room. Makes sense. Caps. <clears throat> okay, excuse me, hun. Ooh. Aww. The guy died hugging a, a toy of his. Probably from his childhood. Well, that's just depressing. That's where I'm at. Well, that's convenient. Or bathrooms. You'd have to have multiple bathrooms, of course. <clears throat> okay. This would be... Food storage room. Kitchen. It's actually a pretty good kitchen at that. I'm sorry, I'm envisioning this place in its, uh, pristine state. This is actually a very good sub, holy shit. This is, this is a place you could actually probably live in for quite a while. You know, before the water damage destroys everything. Shall? First... Ooh! Free sword. That's always nice. And a little uh, common area, probably. Like I said, it's actually not a half bad sub. Communications. Where you go? Ah, boiler. Okay. And down here, no boiler. Alrighty. There are torpedo rooms. Here is the warhead. No difficulty with the warhead, I trust. Nah, no sweat. The radiation did give me superpowers, though. X-ray vision. Love the leopard G-string. Two hundred years, and your humor is still bad. America liberating Anchorage. Now that was a good joke. Now, here is what you must do. Head down to the reactor. Take dampening coil and warhead with you. First, insert the dampening coil. Carefully. Shaoxin. Then, put warhead into the reactor. As you do that, 
I monitor power levels from the control room. Do not put Warhead in first. Do that? So um, Death for you and me both. Understood, Captain. I love the fact that they actually give you the option for it, too. Activate. Install dampening coil. There you go. And then, install warhead. Okay. Sounds good. Now we're out of that, I want to re-equip my armor. I don't want the hat. Oop. Captain Zhao? I was not sure my beautiful Yangzi would hold together, but we did it. You are a capitalist. I know you expect payment for services. Instead, I would offer you service in exchange for your service. It is our way. Take these uh, transponders. Each one acts as a homing signal for missile I can fire from my Yangzi. Only small, tactical use. But you should still get as far away as possible. Throw transponder like a grenade to activate it. Then wait for Baoza. Kaboom. Why would you let me use up your missiles? I have no wish to bring weapons back home. I leave the fire here. And I owe you. Zhao pays his debts. Besides, my missile just might... <laughs> Save your bacon. Soon I will set sail. You should get ashore. Farewell, American. I must admit, I have met worse capitalists. Okay, so far as I know, these homing beacons, there's only uh, the three we get from him. But I am going to look up and see if there's ways to get more outside of console commands. <laughs> if anyone's found a way to do it, of course. And if not, feel free to tell me, because I'm curious. So basically what this does is it's like the um, uh, smoke grenades. But a little faster and a little bit more deadly, because they drop nukes. And of course my phone's being stupid. So I'm going to be saving those for emergencies, because we only have three. They basically drop uh, the equivalent of the Fat Boy uh, missiles. <clears throat> Alright. So that was that. Nice little side quest to get a nice little toy. <clears throat> okay. The next place we're going to go to is. Aha! A very interesting little quest. Don't need that. We're going to the Cowbot House. Now, um, I got this quest by meeting a guy in Bunker Hill. <clears throat> um, after running there for a while, he'll run up to you and he'll, he'll walk up to you and say, Hey, do you want to do a job for the Cabot family? And, yeah, sure, why not? This one actually is a pretty interesting little quest, so I highly recommend uh, checking into it. Besides, you may want to do it just because, you know, it does give you one of the special bobbleheads. Charisma, specifically. Come on. Okay. <clears throat> Just checking it on something. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm level 37 now. Most of those levels were for me building shit. Okay. What the hell is a building that noise doing in a rundown city like this? I know, right? What's also more fucked up? They have a Mr. Handy and a freaking sentry bot on charge. Can I? Oh, nope. Uh, I can't lock into the fusion cores. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna explain this while I have a sentry bot here. <clears throat> that isn't hostile. Um, if you're having trouble with the sentry bot, um, keep fighting it for a while. Eventually it will overheat, and it will start shooting out, um, uh, steam. 
or if you see that 1% pop up on the fusion cores, um, during that steam bit, it opens up its back to show its fusion core. If you can hit that fusion core at any point in time, it will do an insta KO. Um, if you have that 1% and a crit, use it, you'll get an automatic crit, and you'll destroy him instantly. So, yeah, that's a good way to kill sentry bots quickly. Especially considering they're asshats. Alright, let's do this. Go away. Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Now this... I've already done this quest because I had to record the bobblehead location. This is jarring. This is one of those quests that I did off-screen that uh, I really regretted doing afterwards. I wanted to uh, show it to you guys because it is freaking awesome. Hello! Can I talk to you? Ah. One moment, one moment. He'll be right with us. Okay. Damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Chan. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. There might be some valuable stuff inside. Let's go check it out. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe. At least not on this planet. Hey, you joke, but make a good point. Say humans perish from the Earth, as they seem intent upon doing. Say thousands of years from now, a new civilization arose. What would they know of us? Probably for the best if it was all wiped away. So whoever comes next can start fresh. I don't share your pessimistic view. I still believe that human civilization has a chance to regain its lost glories. This is one reason I'm so passionate about my work. If I can learn the secrets of the ancients, perhaps we can avoid their fate. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. That was interesting. <laughs> Good. If you like that kind of thing, you've come to the right place. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. You know the old insane asylum you shot up? Parsons? There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? I hope you have more to go on than that. Don't worry. I don't expect you to do the impossible. Not on your first day. You should start at Parsons. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. Make no promises. 
Alrighty then. Well, let us go, uh, rummage the place. <laughs>